Yo, what's up, guys? Man, I just want to read something real quick. Put something on your head. Put something on your brain today. Um, you can go back and watch it if you didn't catch it all. But check this out. I'm reading out of Mark 5.25. It says, Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed and the affliction of the affliction. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, who touched my clothes? But. His disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging, thronging you and you say who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Now, check this out. The lady, you know, I'm reading out of the, what's this? The New King James Version, but it's a lot of other versions. The lady, she went through and she got through all of these people, the multitude of people pushing through, elbowing people, getting there to get to Jesus. Because it says she spent all her money and she suffered many things by other physicians and stuff like that. And she spent all her money. But when she heard about Jesus, she knew she had to be there. She knew she had to be there. She knew that only he can make her well. But this piece that we miss right here, and we've read this, everybody knows the scripture. And then seeing the scripture and heard this story, check this story out. It says the lady touched the hem of his garment, a piece, the end piece of his garment, the end piece in virtue left out of him. The end piece. She imagine if the lady would have touched his arm, his skin, his shoulder blade, skin. She touched a piece of his garment and was made well, and her bleeding stopped. Just a piece of his garment. And he said, he looked around and said, and saw her. He felt virtue leave from him. How do you feel power leave from you if somebody touches the hem of your garment, the, the, the end piece of your garment, and not even touch your skin or your body? This is what the word is saying. He felt virtue, power leave from him. All these people were brushing up against him, rubbing up against him, and no power had left him until the lady, knowing what she needed, touched him that's when the power left it was millions of people you know touching him going past him brushing up against him on accident and he didn't feel no feel no power relief but he said to her go your faith has made you well now in this word i don't see where that lady I, that would have made me stay around jesus wherever he walked wherever he went wherever he i would have been there i would have been there me personally like hey just my savior i'm jesus i gotta walk with you man hey look I got but she went about her business. I mean, he told her to go. That's true. But she went about her business. Think about how many people in your life that just come to get what they want. And they just leave. You, you give they touch you and they doing all this stuff and virtue and power is leaving from you. If Jesus. Power left from Jesus, from the lady just touching the hem of his garment, that tells you something. But we got all these people around us who we let in our lives, who we let do this, do that. And then we wondering why our power is being diminished because we involve in somebody else. And also in that, in that story, she came and got what she wanted and dipped. She came and got what she wanted, what she needed and dipped. Now, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't see anywhere in the word or well, i don't remember anywhere in the word where it says and you remember the lady with the issue of blood who followed jesus for the rest of his ministry no you don't see that and so my thing is today don't let nobody just come be a virtue leech 
take your virtue, take your power, and you know what I mean, your energy and, and, and your Holy Spirit and twist it and make it something that it's not. Not saying that lady did that, but she did come get what she wanted. She was out. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to give to somebody, Jesus allowed, the, first of all, Jesus allowed for his verses to be taken anyway, for her to touch him like that. For her to touch him like that. You know, and he knew that his power had left because she was made whole. And she was made whole, meaning when you're made whole, you're 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 better than before you even had it. You know what I'm saying? You're like brand new. You know what I'm saying? So today, don't worry about, and I'm gonna keep iterating this and reiterating this to people. Stop worrying about what people think about you. Stop worrying about what people say about you. If you know where your power is and your virtue is, which is in King Jesus. It doesn't matter what anybody's going to say, because guess what? Whether you down, whether you up, whether you, you know, people going to always have something to say. Now, in the word, the word says that uh, um, I know it says for me that I'm a foreigner passing through here. Think about when you see or hear somebody from another country of another uh, 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 that you haven't seen before. And they speak in another language. A lot of us be like, oh, that's weird. And oh, man, look, he's weird. He's different. You know what I'm saying? But you need to understand. We're foreigners. So if I'm a foreigner, of course, people are going to talk about me. That's why Jesus said in John, remember, 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 if they hate you, they hated me first. You know what I'm saying? But my main thing is with these videos and stuff is God gives us an opportunity to continue to love. We need to stop letting people steal our virtue and take our virtue and then complain. Complain about, oh, I'm powerless. I'm, okay, well, stop giving your energy to that and give your energy to Yahshua the Messiah, the King, his word. You understand what I'm saying? That's what we need to do. We got all these people that that saying this and saying, oh, he's about this or she's about that or this, but they won't come talk to you. A lot of people don't want to come talk to you because they don't want to hear the truth. The word says our people are destroyed. My people are destroyed by the lack of knowledge. The next line says because they rejected it, not just because they're destroyed. So I'm just saying this to put some in your, uh, in, in your, in your satchel today. Uh, we in a war right now. We in a war and it's and not even physical. It's physical too because you're seeing a little bit of stuff, but it's more spiritual. Do not battle against flesh and blood. Do not battle against somebody talking about you. Like I said on my page, if somebody can find the time in their busy day during COVID, during bills need to be paid, during kids need pampers, kids need clothes, and they can find time to talk about you, you mean a whole lot to that person. A whole lot to that person. Because I know I don't got the time out of my day to be, uh, you know what I'm saying? Hating on the next man. But like I said, I'm going to keep iterating this too. God told me the other day. He says, love like me. Every day, challenge yourself to be more like me and, and, and follow my word. Be obedient to my word. You know what I'm saying? So in these situations where we be giving so many people so much energy on, he hate on me, she hate on me, she don't like me, she we, we, all that energy, all that energy, put it toward loving that person. Because love, keep, love keeps no record of wrongdoing, and that's toward anybody. So if you got love in your heart and Jesus is in you, is in you and he is love, it don't keep a record of wrongdoing. You know how to push through. Like, you know what? Thank you. Like I said, hate is reverse admiration. If somebody hates you that much, that means they admire you in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just put on my page, like, just stuff got the spirit just be having me talk about. People talking about, oh, it's so much... Oh, it's so much, oh, it's so much division and so much division and it is so much division and division and division. Why you keep talking about division, but then you want to classify your genre and say, well, I'm not this. I'm this. Instead of saying, you know what? I'm just for the gospel of Jesus Christ. As long as the gospel is being spoke, like Paul said, as long as some preach it out of van can see some preach it out of this, preach it out of that. Well, long as the gospel is being preached you know people want to say hey you hey jesus also said in the word when he was casting out demons oh he must be casting out demons with the power of, of the devil what what they say what jesus said jesus said a house divided against itself can't stand so everybody can i keep hearing this out of my brothers and sisters in the kingdom of god and the body oh it's division it's division it's division but then you go classify yourself 
well, I'm not that, but I'm this. Ain't that the vision? Correct. Somebody tap in and tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. All I say is I'm an artist of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm not CHH. I'm not Baptist. I'm not Catholic. I am not this. I am not that. I'm not this. I'm not that. I'm just an artist of the gospel of Jesus Christ, and I'm a minister. Jesus said, make disciples, not converts. I, I see you, sis. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, you feel me? Like, people keep talking about this division. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And people have these, these mindsets, which we battle not against flesh and blood, but people have these mindsets, man, of, you know, if you profess in the kingdom and you kingdom, oh, you ain't perfect, you ain't Jesus. How can I not be something that's inside of me? But it's okay for me to be Webster. I say this all the time. It's okay to be of my mama and daddy's blood, earthly blood, but it's not okay for me to be of my kingdom blood. Then people want to say you arrogant. <laughs> people want to say you, uh, you, 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 <laughs> you arrogant, you a prideful. Hold on, wait a minute. So it's okay for me to follow my earthly family genealogy, which is, you know, we had health problems, is addiction. Is It's okay. Oh, that's just them. But when I say I'm in the kingdom and I'm a new creature, oh, he think he perfect. Look at him. Oh, look at her. And I'm not, you know, I'm just saying, I'm past it. But I'm just saying for you, for you, the, the guy, the people that's watching, the people that are on here, man, just move in love, man. You know what? Love is a good thing. It's cool. Can't nobody play you. Can't nobody play you. Can't nobody play you. Oh, he played me. No, he didn't. You allowed him because you shouldn't have been messing with him anyway because God gave you the inclination, uh, inclination not to mess with that person, but you kept going and messing with that person. We invite so many people back in our lives when God has allowed that person to go out of your life uh, 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 peacefully. Like, they'll just fall off and we still trying to call them back and still trying to, man, just let, let them be where they at and just leave the door open if they need some prayer or something and they hit you, don't change. Like I told like I said today, um, turning the other cheek, turning the other cheek doesn't mean, you know, oh, I'm not going to be a punk. Well, I'm not. No, turning the other cheek, meaning if I turn this way or if I turn this way, I'm the same. I still got the same love of God in my heart. Also, the word says in first John, how can you say that you uh, uh, love a God that you don't see, but don't love a brother that you do see? That goes for, it's racist people in the church. It's racist people this. And I'm just saying, you know, that's division too. How you going to be in church so much you, you you love God that you don't see, but you don't love this black brother, this Latino sister, this Chinese sister, this this white brother. Or what, why? You feel me? Come on now. Like we got too many division, too much uh, sections, too much this. It's, it ain't that. People make the be, living safe so complicated because they own convictions. I see you, Rose. I see you, Michael. You feel me? Like, come on. Hey, Michael Daniels, I'm I'm sorry to tell you, Michael. And I want to tell you because you know I love you, bro. You know I love you. Don't ever say we can't be perfect. We can be perfect. Perfect means to be mature. Means to be mature in a biblical sense. In the Webster's Dictionary, it means without flaw. So when Jesus said, be ye therefore perfect, he, as my Father in heaven is perfect perfect it means mature just why would he tell us to be ye therefore perfect if we couldn't if we couldn't be perfect why would he say let perseverance finish his perfect work and you'll be mature lacking nothing see we like to mix we like to mix uh, uh, uh eastern gospel with our westernized minds that don't work that's what we keep doing that's what it, you feel me like too many religious people too many this too many that you feel me and, and it's all in the word it's all in the word you feel me? I'm not here to bash anybody. I just love you. I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep like we're doing a big thing right now for the for the for the for the the place that we're in for the place that we're in. Somebody keep calling me. I don't know who it is, but, you know, for the place that we're in. That's why Jesus told uh, Matthew, get in the water. First fix you pick up, get that money out his out his mouth and pay Caesar what's his. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what we're going to do, you know. But God is good. Just remember, there's going to be a lot of virtue leeches around you. People who just dare to get what you got and drain you. And then when you don't give them nothing no more, oh, he about fame. 
oh, she about money. Oh, she about this or he about that. Hmm. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? So just continue, just continue to just pray for people and just love them regardless. And, you know, like I said on my uh, couple of videos back, I said, look, I said, look, I see you. It's, you I, see, I see what you're saying. You know, I said on a couple a couple of videos back, I said, people keep talking about, well, I'm not there yet. And, oh, you need to meet people where they at. Like I said, I'm going to meet you where you at. But I might not stay there unless we get into the Holy Spirit. For example, once again, if you say you need some groceries and I bring groceries to your house, I met you where you at. You wouldn't have no groceries. I met you where you at. But if you take the groceries in the house and then invite me in, then take all the groceries out the bag and be like, well, I don't eat this and I don't eat that and I don't eat that. I'm not staying there. I'm sorry. I'm out. I did my job. Now, you may, if you don't eat that, you may want to bless somebody else, you know, but I'm not going to sit there and, 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 you know what I'm saying, go through you breaking down every ingredient of everything unless we get into the Holy Spirit and we start praying, then I'm going to stay there. But what I'm saying is, you know, just be mature. There's a lot of people who've been saved for this for a long, 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 long time, and we still acting like babies. Like, we still acting like baby Christians. The time is right now. We need to rise up. Why we got to go hide and fold and go off what the world is going through? I see so many of my people commenting and, 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 and so caught up in the world, these world affairs, what's going on in the world, and they ain't speaking no life into nobody. Nobody. Start speaking life. Death and life is in the power of your tongue, fam. Start speaking. If your marriage ain't going right, speak. This marriage is blessed. My wife is blessed. My husband is blessed. My husband is a man of God. My woman is a man of God. You understand what I'm saying? Straight up. Start speaking. Hey, my bills is paid. Hey, you know, I got food in my uh, closet. Hey, the Lord died for my sins. Hey, Jesus is my redeemer. Start speaking and stop speaking a, 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 a problem and start speaking a solution. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's my whole, that's my whole mission is to love that's what Jesus did. You know, look at Jesus, what he did, bro. He was on the cross dying after they whooped him, poked him, laughed at him, spit on him. He still said, look at the love he had in his heart. Father, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing. He still asked for their forgiveness on their behalf. He still asked for their forgiveness. And he wasn't no punk, though. He always kept telling his uh, uh, disciples, man, how long I got to be here with y'all? He uh, Just like I'm saying right now, you know, we all should be like that. How long you going to put up with it? He, Jesus was just like, how y'all, how I've been with y'all the whole time and y'all don't still don't know who I am. Why we act like that? God didn't help us. He's, his, his, his record with us is infinity, zero and infinity. He ain't no, no losses. And we still be acting worrying, still be still. Oh, that's because we're in this human flesh. And we'll, so why you read the word then? Because the word is showing you how to do it. Why you in this human flesh? <laughs> the word says you will do greater things. But when you step out and start doing greater things, all these people. Gonna come out the woodworks and be like, all right, you this and he that. This say God bless you. It says pray for those who spitefully, you know, who talk about you, who use you. It says pray for those. It says if your enemy is hungry, give them something to eat. It says if they thirsty, give them something to drink. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I, I hear what you're saying, sis. I see what you're saying, Michael. Hallelujah. Praise God to everybody's on here. Uh, Danny, I see you. JG, I see you. And Brother Anthony Morris got you in prayer. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Speak life. Continue to speak life. Like, I ain't, for real, for real, people who really know me, y'all could put this in the comments. I will tell you in a minute. Uh -uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't bring that over here. I don't want to hear no doubt. I don't want to hear no fear. I don't want to hear none of that. Now, if we, if you coming to me, you really want to get out of that and you really don't want to think like that. Yeah, I'll hear it. But most people are going to sit, come there and pour all that on you. That's why Jesus said dust off the bottom of your feet. If they don't receive you, because you could track that mud into your house and into your atmosphere. And now your kids done got some contagious stuff. Somebody else done left in your house because you didn't invite them, invited them in your house. And when Jesus told you to wipe off the bottom of your feet. Dust off the bottom of your feet because you can track that stuff in your house. So, but people get mad when I be like, hey, you know what? I don't want to hear no doubt, no fear. You better speak, speak 
the opposite. Just like when the devil was tempting Jesus, what happened? He was speaking the word of God. But Jesus is the word manifest flesh. So the devil was trying to use Jesus against himself. Duh. And Jesus beat the devil with himself, with the word. But it says, even the demons shake and tremble. So why are you worried about a man if even the demons shake and tremble, knowing it's one God, your God, that you serve? I am that I am. Why are you, why, why do we be tripping? We be tripping so much, bro. Like, off, off of what, bro? You know what I'm saying? I'm here to motivate you. I love you. It's just like, man, that's, they used to call me the coach. So, you know, just like a coach pep talk right here. You feel me? I'm third day, but they used to call me coach because I used to straight pep talk people like, hey, you better than that. I'm going to tell you today, you watching, you looking at this, you're better than that. Continue to show love. Let that unforgiveness go. Let that traditional, that tradition go. Let that pride go. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, we get caught up in it. We're humans. Yes, we're in this body. I get it. You feel what I'm saying? But you don't have to, just because Jesus was in the body, he ain't succumbed to none of that. And he, even though his disciples was like, hey, don't walk, don't walk down Samaria. Don't walk through there. He was like, man, y'all go get something to eat. I'm going to go walk through here. You feel me? And then, because I it's somebody I got to talk to. And that lady uh, 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 that was by the well, that's who we talked to. People will try to talk you out of going where God has called you to be because they scared of going where God has called them to be just like the people they could have went up there with uh who was it uh, uh moses they could have went up to the mountain they then went to the bottom of the mountain fashioned the gold calf and worshiped that instead of going up there to the presence of god people are afraid of walking to the presence of god because it's going to change and people are afraid of knowing the truth because knowledge with knowledge becomes responsibility you have to be responsible for that and people don't want to be responsible. You know what I'm saying? But we battle not against flesh and blood. Just know, don't battle against your brother or sister. You feel me? In the, in, in the kingdom. Battle that spirit. Let me ask you a question. If you knew from the day you were born, you were to be sacrificed for people who beat you and spit and defam defamate you. Would you make the same decisions as Jesus did can anyone really answer that question honestly praise him for his sacrifice and i am saved because i believe it he did it for me amen yeah what i'm saying michael is you feel me he he showed us how to do it in this flesh that we live in because people like to say it so much oh this, I'm, nobody's perfect because we live in this flesh no why do you think we got the word just think of god didn't, if god didn't expire this word and leave it for us in this day right now, we'll be so crazy, but we'll have to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit and God. We have to have a relationship. Just think if, if some, a lot of people didn't have this Bible, they wouldn't know what to do. Whether the Bible in front of me or not, I'm communing with God all day because I'm made in his image. So it's something inside of me that knows to yearn out for that. Just like it's for God. Just like the kid knows how to yearn out for his mother or his father. You feel what I'm saying? People think it's not accomplishable. It is. Jesus was slain from the foundation of the world. He knew that Jesus was going to betray him. That's why he gave him the money back. So that money back could be a stigma. You see him right there with that bag? That's him. But he still washed his feet. He still washed his feet. I see you, Johnny and Rose White. You know what I'm saying, Pablo? I see y'all. But this is just motivation to y'all, man. Look, we living in a time. I'm Me personally, I'm going to be happy. I'm not finna just be over here all angry and mad and holding on, holding on to unforgiveness and then I die. Heck no, not me, not Third Day, not James. Heck no, I'm trying to bless everybody. I'm trying to leave fruit. I'm trying to see, I'm trying to, you know, leave seed. A lot of people, this, this is what the problem is though. Another problem that I see. Thank y'all guys for tuning in, though. And I bless every one of you guys. This is another problem I see. Another problem that I, that I see is a lot of people will judge your fruit and say, look, oh, that's what they're about. But they don't know what it went through to get that fruit. How God, how God, how you consecrated yourself fasted. You don't know. They just see the fruit and, and judge you off the fruit. And they don't even ask about the process. They don't ask about the process. Man, they don't even come at, man, what, how'd you get there? What, man, people want the anointing, but they don't want the responsibility of the anointing. This anointing comes with responsibility. Your anointing, your anointing comes with responsibility. And people that's going to stand on the line and ain't going to do what you're going to do to uh, maintain your anointing. They the ones who are going to be talking about you while they standing on the line, sideline. 
But you got to realize you got to speak God's promises. The word says all things work together for the good. He didn't say some. So even God uses opposition as an opportunity. So you have we have to realize that all things going to work together for the good if you love God. For those who call accordingly to his purpose. That's what I'm saying, man. We got to come to a point, man, and get off, off of all this religion, man. So many people are so religious. That's why third day, James, whatever you want to call me, that's why I move the way I move and don't care about what nobody think. That's why uh, people say so much stuff about me, but they hated Jesus first. That's what you need to start doing. I said this on my last video. Just start hitting people with the word. When they start hating on you, start hitting them with the word. You know what? The Lord, The word says, love thy neighbor more than thyself. Love those how you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Start hitting them with the word. Eventually, they're going to either be like, hallelujah, or they're going to walk away from you. Because a lot of people don't want to hear that. You feel what I'm saying? They don't want to hear it. But it's all right. You're not battling them. You are to love them. Just think of God battled our flesh and blood. Boy, I've been, I've been, done, been somewhere dead. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just, just like, man, continue to love. And no matter what nobody done to you. And stop blaming people. This is the thing. Stop blaming people. You got a baby mama or a baby daddy or ex-husband, ex-wife. Stop blaming them for everything. Because you the one jumped in the bed with that person. How you doing? You feel me? You the one jumped in the bed with that person and had a kid by this person. And now, and they're just being their self. And you trying to change your life. And they keep giving you problems. It's your fault. Blame you. Don't. I'm not saying they're justified for what they do now. But blame you because if you wouldn't have been fly that night, you probably wouldn't have hollered at that person. We got to start being like, you know what? It's my fault. You know what? I was messing with this dude. This dude done me wrong with this girl done me wrong. It's my fault. Praise God. I love him anyway. They just being them. It was my fault. I'm the one who, you know, kept the relationship going on. And, 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 and whether it's business relationship, personal relationship, whatever, I, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's my fault. It's my fault. So, you know what? Lord God, I'm going to bless them, and I'm not even going to be mad. I'm not even going to say nothing. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm keep doing. what I'm doing. Because then, because cause we start battling flesh and blood, then we start hating people. And that's witchcraft. If a person can control you, and they're not even around you, what is that telling you? You All day you hating this person. You hating this person. You hating this person. Oh, she done did this. She done. And that girl ain't been with you in 20 years. You ain't seen this person in 20 years and they still got control over you from what they did back in 91. Man, what up, huh? Man, you better, you better believe it. Leave the unforgiveness gone. Offense is a choice. Those who obey the law, I'm paraphrasing, in Psalms, what he say? And nothing shall offend them. Those who obey my laws or something like that, y'all know what I'm saying. And nothing shall offend them. So if you if you being offended by all this, a lot of a whole bunch of stuff, you must not be obeying the laws or his word. And I ain't talking about the laws and nothing. I ain't getting it. No, that's not what I'm saying. The word. Nothing shall offend them. So don't twist my words. People like to hear one little piece. They'll jump on here and hear one little piece. And then and then, and then go take that and twist it. Like somebody will see you coming out the crack house and ride past. They won't even stop and be like, hey, third day, what are you doing over here? Let's go. They'll go ride past you, take a picture of you at the crack house, and go tell everybody they seen you at the crack house. Instead of asking you, and you could have been like, man, look, my Man, one of the brothers, man, that I've been mentoring is in the crack house. I'm trying to get him out of here. No, they won't even do that. They'll go tell everybody they seen you buying. They see you at the crack house, but then they'll add on. He was buying crack. He had a fat dub in his hand, too. You, what? <laughs> That's how people is, bro. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's the world. But don't let no one's actions stop you from loving them. You know what I'm saying? Don't let no one's inability to love you or, or, or non-acceptance of love. Uh, uh, stop you from loving them. That's why I it says it's going to reap high coals on their head because they'll feel it. They'll feel that conviction. You know what I mean? They'll feel the conviction, you know, and it's not your job to convict them. That's God's job. You feel me? You know, so just continue to be a uh, 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 prosperous until today. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. All things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. You feel me? Not some things. 
all things. He said, you remain in, you remain in my word and abide in me. I will do anything that you ask for. He didn't say some things that you ask for. He says anything that you ask for. We have to realize we have to speak God's promises to God. Stop speaking to God. What am I going to do? Why me, Lord? No, stop speaking. This. Lord, don't you say in your word all things work together for the good. Didn't you say that, Lord? I know you said that. You feel me? So just continue to be to be awesome. Just continue to pray for people. Just continue to live your life every day trying to be more and more and more like Christ. It's a fun thing. Every day I'm going to try more and more to be like Christ. You know what I'm saying? So just keep your heads up. Let's pray real quick. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I ask you just to bless my brothers and sisters that's on here right now, Father God, and that we'll see this later, Father. I just ask you to bless their hearts, mind, soul, and spirit, Father God. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine kingdom, power, and glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. See, that was that short. That's why Jesus told his disciples to pray that prayer because he knows that that prayer is going to happen regardless of what people think. Remember this before I go. One day is as a thousand years to God and a thousand years is as one day. So please do the math on what's a second to God while we always complaining about time and process and and, 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 and and God ain't moving in our time or we ain't getting what we want in the time. We One day is as a thousand years to God and a thousand years is as one day. So tell me what is a second. God bless you guys. Share this. Like it. Just a little nuggets for y'all. I'll just be chopping it with y'all. That's it. All right now.